Hello everyone. Hope you're doing great. It's not a regular video today. In today's video I'll be sharing my personal experience on how to use these glue guns. I have decided to do this video because you and me uses glue guns a lot. So we have been using this every day. So I just thought of sharing my experience on using these glue guns with you. Hopefully this will be very helpful to you. And this video will be very helpful to you even if you're planning to buy one. Glue guns are completely safe if you use them in the right way, but they could be dangerous if you do not use them in the proper way. There are some potential health hazards too. Overheating of this glue could produce toxic fumes that may suffocate you. So it's uh, really mandatory to use glue guns in a proper way and in the proper place. The manufacturers of these glue guns and glue sticks always say that glue guns and glue sticks are completely safe uh, for use, but I do not agree with them because I have personally suffocated many times using these glue guns in my DIYs. I have been using these glue guns for the past 2 years, you know, like I have suffocated many times while using them. See, I would have posted more than 250 DIYs in our channel. You would have seen the, at least few of them probably. I have used glue sticks and glue guns for most of them. This video is completely based on my experience with these glue guns for the past two years, and you know, like the, this is 11 mm glue stick. I have melted out more than 250 sticks in the past two years for my DIY crafts. So you know, like I found some interesting things. You know, like some are dangerous too, especially suffocation. You know, like I have suffocated many times. I ran out of my room using this, so. If you're not using it the right way this could be dangerous so i advise you to watch the rest of the video so first let me give a brief information about glue guns see this is called the glue gun you know th this is the gun and this is the glue stick now i generally use a 11 mm glue stick this is 11 mm glue stick these glue guns are very simple in nature they do not have any complicated moving parts or any complicated mechanism inside This is just a simple product, you know. When you pull this trigger, this glue stick gets inside the heating chamber. There's a heating chamber here. This heating chamber melts this solid glue and it pours out through this nozzle. And you'll be using this for your projects. That's a simple mechanism. And uh, while using this, just make sure not to touch this nozzle. You know, this is a metal nozzle. It will be very hot. You know, like. Uh, after 5 10 minutes it will be very hot and you may even feel the heat over here in this area where the heating chamber is inside these glue guns generally have a small wire stand that you see here this will help you to place a glue gun in the proper position on your tables so always place it uh, like this do, do not place it flat on the table and uh, regarding glue gun types you know there are different kinds of glue guns Now, like it comes in different sizes, different wattages, different volts. See, this is the glue gun which I bought earlier. You know, this this was my first glue gun. I bought this around two years back. Stopped using this after six months. The reason being, lots of glue was flowing outside. You know, like it was just melting and pouring outside. You know, I was so I was not happy with this. So I just stopped uh, using this one. And then after this, I bought this thermistor. This is a 60 volt glue gun. I bought this in an idea that this will not leak but this one leak to you hopefully you can see all these things you know I have cleaned it but still there are there's a lot of glue all over the body this this glue gun uses 11 mm uh, glue stick see when i insert a new glue stick around 40 to 50% of the glue just melts and comes outside i will not be able to use them okay so this this is one major problem I, with these two glue guns you know this is the glun First one was a Glun, 20 watts glue gun, and this is Themisto. This is a 60 watts glue gun. I had a terrible glue leaking problem in these two glue guns, and then uh, a few months back, uh, I came across one more glue gun. They said that this will be a leak-proof uh, item, but uh, but this was still leaking. But it was better than the past two uh, glue guns. these were leaking around 30 to 40% of my entire glue stick but this you know like it was considerably less this glue gun was comparatively good to the other two glue guns so i like this of all the three but one more handy thing is that it has a switch here now this switch will be very handy and convenient for you the earlier one did not had any switch over here so every time if you want if i had to turn it on i have to walk to the power source and turn it on but this was very handy when i was doing my diy crafts So this is the glue gun which I'm using for my uh, DIY projects right now. You would have seen this probably in all my videos. 
the main problem with glue guns is leaking i don't know like uh, whether your glue gun leaks or not it depends upon the your usage okay i use glue guns a lot i see i am using these glue guns for the past 2 years i have built more than 250 diy's using these glue guns and have melted more than 250 glue sticks okay like this and have been wasting glues a lot because of this terrible leakage problem you know like see i said that i have melted out more than 250 uh, glue sticks and i would say that 30 or 40 glue sticks out of this just melted out unused i was not using them it came out you know like it was it came out it would solidify on my table then i'll just peel it off and throw it away okay it went unused so now let's see the glue leakage problem in glue guns you know like i was facing this issue since a long time even the leak proof uh, glue gun was leaking you know like it was not 100% leak proof it leaked but it was minimal the manufacturer say that this is a leak proof glue gun and still it leaks so thought that there could be something wrong in the way we are using it and then i found out that the reason for glue leaking out is uh, because of uh, this trigger it's because of this trigger see as soon as you turn on the power you know like it will take some 5 to 10 minutes you know for the glue to melt completely but we generally do not give the necessary time for the glue gun to melt its glue see what we do is we just take it and we just start pressing it check if the glue is coming out or not you know that's a that's on bad habit so instead of what you have to do is just turn on the glue gun and keep it idle you know keep it idle for 5 to 10 minutes this is a 40 watt glue gun so this takes around 6 to 8 minutes to melt the glue fully okay so what happens is when i press when i pull the trigger before the glue is melted what happens is this trigger this trigger you see the small white part over here this keeps pushing the glue stick into the heating chamber and once the glue melts it starts flowing outside because of the high pressure inside that pressure was created inside the heating chamber by you by pulling this trigger okay let the glue melt completely when you pull the trigger it should be butter smooth you should not struggle pulling the trigger if you are struggling to pull the trigger it means that the glue has not melted completely see the glue should flow in a uniform way you know it should be like a Uh, oil pouring from a oil can you know like it sh you should get a straight line you should be able to draw a straight line okay without any uh, pressure on the trigger so now let's see what all you can stick using a glue gun see in my past uh, diy's and uh, as per my past 2 years of experience with these glue guns you can uh, stick anything with anything with these glue guns but the only problem with those bonding is that they are not permanent they'll just peel off you cannot uh, use this for uh, any permanent bonding i have used these glue guns to stick many items like paper ch uh, chalk paper cardboard thermocol plastics even stones you know like i have uh, used these glue guns to stick even stones the problem with the glue gun is that they are not permanent okay you cannot bond anything permanent using these glue uh, hot milk glue these can create only temporary bonding they cannot create any permanent bonding i'll show you that now in short i can say that this hot milk glue cannot replace uh, adhesives like uh, febiquick or febicol something like that the main advantage of using hot milk glue is that it is very instant you know like it just sticks two pieces in less than 10 seconds but that uh, bonding will not be permanent okay you can just remove it off it will not be too hard okay it, you can just easily remove it off or you know if you use these glue guns for sticking your ceramic cups or any wooden boards or so or any pvc pipes you know like it will come off in some days in few days depending upon the usage it will come off you know the, they cannot replace the uh, plastic pvc solution you know like they use some special adhesive for sticking pvc pipes this glue gun cannot replace those ones this just creates only a temporary bonding i would say glue guns are not good for industrial use this uh, these glue guns are best suited only for some small diy crafts you know like uh, if a child wants to do a school project model or if you want to do any you know temporary bonding inside uh, any of your households any of your broken items it will be only temporary you cannot create any permanent bondings using these glue guns in my experience glue guns will be very effective to stick papers cardboards and thermocols okay apart from these three materials you will not be able to create any permanent bond with other items let me show you how it sticks paper okay i just put some glue over here just okay 
okay this place will be very hot you know like i've been using this since a long time so it's okay for me but you have to be careful and i hate this you know like this long spider like webs you know this webs which these things create see and let me keep it here yeah? i'll just take it after some time see as soon as you stick anything just leave it for a minute or so you know like so that it bonds completely up so now i'm just going to stick a piece of thumb on it see see i'm just keeping uh, it here let's check it out after some time okay? i'm just keeping it here see now let's try to join these two pebbles okay this is a, these are two pebbles you will hopefully you would have seen this in my DIYs. I have used these uh, pebbles, you know, like in my forest models, you know, like I've uh, built a den using glue and these pebbles. See, because it's a stone, I'm putting more glue. For paper and cardboard, do not use so much glue. So I have just stuck it, okay? See, uh, this. stands see though this pebble uh, stands you know like uh, do not assume that this bonding is uh, very intact and it's very strong it's not a permanent bond i'll show you how okay so just let me keep it here so now let's check the first item you know like this is the paper that we stuck earlier see i'm trying to take it but it doesn't come see do you see just the paper peeled away okay this is very strong okay you will just uh, peel, you will have to peel the paper you know like this doesn't come out okay so this is good for papers okay this is good for your DIY crafts and all those stuffs okay and now uh, the same with the cardboard okay even cardboard will have the same effect you know like it bonds properly it's it will be very good for paper and cardboard and now let's check this thermocol see it has bonded well do you see it has bonded well see and there is one small issue when you use glue, hot milk glues on thermocol I'll, I'll just let you know shortly so now let's just check the stone okay see this hangs okay it's very strong it's very strong it hangs but see but it's not permanent See, it came off just like that, okay? See, I can just peel it off. See, this cannot create a permanent bond between stones and other materials. You cannot stick a metal with this. You'll, you'll get the same result when you use glue sticks, hot milk glues on metals, okay? See, this is a plastic scale out. So now let's just check what happens when you pour hot glue on this. So fully melted glue i'm pouring it on a scale so because i've seen some videos on youtube they say people say that glue guns can stick anything to anything you can create a permanent bond but it's not true see i've just poured glue on this let's keep it out for it to solidify and let's see this scale now now this is just a plastic scale see this is solidified okay and i can just peel it off see even if you put one more scale on top of this, you'll not be able to stick it. It, it will stick temporarily, okay? But you, you'll be able to remove it, see? In case if you're planning to use thermocol, this is thermocol, they call it uh, styrofoam too. If you're planning to use thermocol for your projects, and if you're planning to use glue, hot glue for sticking this, there is something which you, you have to follow. Do not use the glue at very high temperatures on thermocol because a very hot glue can create a hole on your thermocols, okay? And let me just show this to you. See, this is a completely flat surface, okay? It is not affected. And let me pour some hot glue onto it, okay? See, I've just poured hot glue onto it. If you make the glue very hot, you know, like it may create a big hole on your crafts and DIYs. And this is not good for your health too, you know, like because uh, this is a kind of uh, plastic. Thermocols are just a kind of plastic, you know, like this is a molten plastic, you know, like when this comes into contact with this one, you know, like there is a chance, you know, like uh, for some toxic vapors from this, okay. 
So when you are inhaling that, it will be bad for you in, in the long term. So you will have to avoid hot glues on thermocoles. Do you see a hole there? Did you see the hole now? Just let me remove the glue. I'm just removing the glue, okay? See, it has gone deep. See? It has created a big hole. See, this is a problem you'll face when you use very hot glues on thermocoles. Whenever you intend to use hot glues on thermocoles, make sure that the glue is not uh, very hot. As I said you earlier, these glue guns comes with some potential health hazards, you know, like if you do not use them properly. This is just a plastic, okay? This glue gun is just a kind of plastic. You know, you can just melt them inside the chamber and then use, use it, and then you use it for your DIYs. See, this is a molten uh, plastic. Whatever comes through this nozzle is a molten plastic. You know, like sometimes when your glue gun is overheated, the this molten glue can release some toxic vapors which will not which is not good for you i have suffocated myself many times okay i just ran out of the room it was so intense you know like i did not like it at all but you know you have to make sure that you do not overheat the glue gun okay see if you're not using it for more than 10 minutes just turn it off okay you can just it's better to when you buy a glue gun it's better to uh, buy a glue gun which has a switch over here okay so th this is this will be very convenient you know you can prevent overheating of your glue guns with this okay you can just turn it off if your power source is far away you will not be able to do it okay every now and then but this will be very handy so better always buy a glue gun with the switch on the glue gun itself okay so with the switch you can prevent overheating this overheating will definitely uh, cause some vapors you know it will produce some toxic vapors from the glue which will suffocate you definitely and never ever use a glue gun inside a closed space if you're using a glue gun always keep in mind to use this in some uh, open space you know if you it will be very good if you do some diys in your gardens or in your backyards especially when you use your glue guns okay do not do this inside your house but if you're forced to do it inside make sure that you open all the, your doors and windows okay before using this glue gun at least your windows okay there should be some air circulation inside it otherwise this few these fumes will be staying inside your house and it will be hurting you so the, I, I have felt this many times inside my studio. Okay? My studio is completely soundproof. I have just made it soundproof because I do not want unwanted noises to penetrate inside my studio. So I just sealed my uh, studio. With respect to my glue gun, it became a big disadvantage for me because these toxic vapors were, that comes out of these glue guns did not find any way to go out. It was a big problem for me, you know, like it's so then I started using these air purifying plants, you know, the one which you see here. It's a snake plant. So maybe you can use uh, these kinds of air purifying plants in your home or in the place uh, where you do your DIYs, you know, like. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of the NASA Clean Air Study project. NASA did this project mainly to clean the air inside space stations. We all know that astronauts live in space stations. They do all the necessary work and they live inside those small pressurized modules, okay? They are very small and you know, like, uh, you, they need oxygen over there, okay? So NASA decided to use some plants over there to purify the indoor air inside the space stations and then uh, possibly if uh, plants can produce some oxygen, okay? So NASA did the study and they came up with some positive results and this plant is one of them snake plant it's called a mother-in-law tongue plant too you know like i just keep it on my table i just keep these uh, air purifying plants everywhere you know i have it in my work desk uh, craft desk you know like i have uh, some 10 to 15 uh, different kinds of plants all over my house you know like i would recommend you to keep these too uh, trust me this has helped me a lot okay and these plants are especially good for your bedrooms you know because they can produce some oxygen in the night they are very good at cleaning toxins, especially the ones uh, from the plastics. You'll sleep better when you have these plants in your bedroom in the night. See, you can uh, use plants like uh, this one, snake plant, English ivy, spider plant, peace lily, uh, palms, you know, like you have these areca palms, you know, palms are very good, you know, like the uh, transpiration rate is very good. They are very good and effective in cleaning the pollutants inside the house. And there are many more plants, okay, you can just Google it out. You can just search for NASA Clean Air Study, okay? You'll come to know. I would advise you to definitely consider this one, okay? Keep these plants in your house, especially when you have kids, okay? It's, it's very good for you. And it will increase your ambience too, okay? It's a good treat for your eyes. See, trust me, these plants uh, have helped me a lot. 
see whenever i keep these plants inside you know like it's easy to make out the difference the next day mostly i do my diy projects in the mornings and in the evenings okay late nights okay? i do not work more than 2 hours a day on my diy projects okay i do not get any glue smell in the morning when i keep the plant inside and if the plants were not inside my studio that night you know the next day morning when i enter the studio i can just make it out you know i can just see the smell okay if the plants were there you know like i would feel very fresh and you know, it would be very good so trust me this will help you a lot if you're doing your craft or even if you're doing and not doing any craft okay this will help to purify your indoor air this is very good for you okay because we nowadays we are using lots of plastics all around we have plastics everywhere in our houses so it's better to use these air purifying plants around your houses in and around your houses it's very good for you and now let's get back to these glue guns so so do not overheat these glue guns okay the overheating will definitely uh, release some toxic vapors i have experienced this personally so be careful uh, while using this and never ever use a glue gun inside a closed space okay always use this glue gun in a uh, open ventilated area okay if possible do it out of your house okay do it in your backyard or your gardens or else keep all your doors and windows wide open while using this one parents should supervise children when they try to do any diy wise you know, because uh, this portion it will be very hot and it's very dangerous you know if children use this glue gun and they pour out this glue on the skin okay it's going to be very dangerous okay it completely melted glue can even remove off your skin it will wipe off your skin okay so you have to be very careful if children are using this you know adult supervision is definitely needed for this so make sure you know like to spend some time with your kids when they use especially the glue guns this will be extremely hot and this will be comfortably you know like it, it will be hot but still you know this uh, you know like it will not be bearable by children so it, you have to be careful while using a glue guns do not let uh, children do this on their own okay at least for few days in the beginning okay you can teach them you can give them all the guidelines teach them and then when you gain the confidence you can just leave them alone okay you, they will be able to handle this and finally i would like to share you some tips if you are planning to buy a new glue gun I prefer 11 mm glue sticks okay this is not too small and this is not too big because 7 mm glue guns you know like you will have to be changing them very often okay it melts out you know like if if your usage is very minimal you can go for 7 mm else i would suggest 11 mm okay this is not too big and too small you know like 7 mm will get over very fast okay and you know like 13 and 14 then there for some advanced uses and you know it's it's too big and you don't need them okay always buy a glue gun with the switch on the glue gun itself so this will be very handy for you and uh, you know like if it's better if you buy a leak proof glue gun okay but still it will leak you will have to use the best practices which i said you earlier so now don't be hard on the trigger okay just be gentle on the trigger give sufficient time for the glue gun to melt the glue inside the chamber and uh, regarding the wattage you know this is a 40 watts glue gun see i have tried 20 watts this is uh, my earlier 20 20 watt gun and this is my 60 watt without a switch and then this is the one which i'm using right now this is a 40 watts you know like 40 watts this is more than enough for you okay because you're not going to use this for any industrial uh, models okay you're not going to do any prototype okay prototype like wooden models or something like that so this will be more than enough for diy project and school projects so i think i have covered uh, almost everything regarding glue guns so in case if you have any other doubts regarding glue guns usage or what are the materials you can stick or not you can just let me know in the comment section so these are my understandings after using these glue guns for the past 2 years if you're a person who's using glue guns for a long time you can let me know your ideas too if you have any other doubts that i can solve you can please let me know in the comment section i'll respond for your queries So I think this video should have been helpful for you. I have been thinking since a long time you know like to make this video but I finally did it. Let's meet up in our next video. Thank you. Bye bye. Stay safe. Thanks for watching the F1 play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Why not subscribe right here right now. Don't forget press the bell icon. The choice is yours. The F1 play.